Hi guys, welcome back. So here we need to solve for x. How do I do it? Well, you can see here that you have 1 half times x plus 4 equals negative 3x over 2 plus 10. I want to go ahead and rewrite this equation so it is easier to solve. How do I do it? Well, anytime you have fractions, you want to get rid of the denominators. Well, I'm going to multiply every single term by 2, so that way I can eliminate the 2 on the bottom. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply 1, and then this one, and then this one. A lot of students ask me why, if I'm multiplying every single term, I don't multiply x and 4 in this case. Well, remember, this 1 half times x plus 4 is just one term. So that is the reason why this 2 is going to be covering all this. So look what's going to happen. This is going to be 2 times 1 half is going to be the same if I had something like this, which is just 1. So basically, this is going to eliminate, and you're going to have x plus 4 equals, remember there's a 1 here, 2 times negative 3 divided by 2, well, this 2 is going to cancel out, and then I'm just going to have negative 3x. Finally, 2 times 10, which is equals to 20. Now, I have a linear equation. What do I do? I'm going to move the variables to the left and the numbers to the right. Don't forget, anytime I move and you have, and you're passing through the equal, the sign is going to change. This negative is going to become a positive, and this positive is going to become a negative. So 1x plus 3x is 4x equals to 16, and finally I divide, and I get that 16 over 4 is equals to 4, and that is my answer. Please don't forget to watch our other videos, also remember, you can Skype with us and also thanks so much for learning.